20, 25 degrees in Appleby. Oh. And then a few days ago it was 10. And chucking down, raining. So we'll see how far we get. Hopefully up to hike up. And then a bit of I'll leave you uh, now because you can look at my back catalogue uh, for this trip up, up to hike up. And we'll see, we'll see what's happening up there. Up the hard part of the uh, hike up next, it's almost up to the top now. And I've just filled up, uh, got a litre and a half of water from this stream. Just beginning to see top of the uh, hike up neck. And uh, that's Merton Pike over there, I think. Right, we'll crack on, it's gone five o'clock. Gets dark at uh, quarter to eight. Wow, oh, look at this. Absolutely amazing. Look at this U-shaped valley. And uh, if you look down there, some really good uh, meandering on that stream. Might get an oxbow lake. It's a bit windy, I don't want to get blown over the edge. Ladies and gentlemen, stunning by any standards. That is stunning. Right, get over there, see if I can find a pit. And I think it's about a 40 mile an hour wind. I've bivvied uh, at the neck of uh, High Cup Nick. Uh, I thought better of uh, pitching on the top because it was high winds, 40, 40 odd miles an hour. And the bivvy will take it, it's not like a tent. But I didn't see the point in uh, battling. So I'm a bit on the lee side of this wall here. I'm away from it a bit, but it, it's still having an effect. So I'll show you where I am. <laughs> That's the uh, mountain giggle. What a place this is, High Cup Nick. I mean, it's really whistling down there through there. It's a uh, Venturi effect. So I thought better of uh, being right on the top there. I'm over there and I'm just gonna bivvy and uh, bivvy. I'm just going to brew up down here by this wall. There's me bivvy. And uh, we've got some protection from this wall here. And the sun's going down there.
and we've got the brew going or the pasta going here on the little stove almost ready the yeah, sun's sun's going down behind the clouds now and that wind is still whistling down the valley and the pasta's ready to eat there can still warm my hands on that for a while because the the wind is just whistling down that that from the hike up nick i thought better of uh, being right up on that on that edge there the bivy would have taken it but you just get a battering that's all so i'm um, just uh, eating my pasta just seeing the sun go down uh, it's quite misty and murky it was 25 degrees in appleby when i set off uh, uh, for dufton um, and i battled 35 40 mile an hour winds head on all the way up three miles up to hike up neck so i came around the south edge of uh, hike up neck of the of the valley and uh, it's an epic view if you've ever not done the walk i did it up on the north side up to the neck and then i've come along the south side of the valley and I'm going to go down, I think it's called the Tongue, in the morning and head down to the road and then cut back across, uh, back up to where I parked. So I might do another video in the, uh, in the, bi in the confines of the bivy. Uh, but um, I'm just finished my pasta. And All packed up, sun breaking out. There's a lot of cloud up the old uh, hike up. In fact, you can't even see it. But what a view, eh? What a view. So I've just set off a bivid just down here. I cut make up there if you uh, could see it. We're heading off down here and down back towards Dufton. A bit of condensation in the bivy. Nothing, uh, nothing amazing. It was warm and dry in the bag. Uh, it was very high humidity last night, and there's a lot of dew, a lot of dew on the outside of the, the bag. But anyway, it performed well, and we're setting off back down. There's Dufton Pike. You see the trig on it. I'm heading down there, down to this node. Uh, Look at the map actually. Right, right down here. Now, I said back there there was Merton, uh, Duffin Pike, it was Merton Pike. Merton Pike ahead. And then this here. limestone edge here and uh, I'm going to track around down here I think down probably to that farm and then along the road a little ways and then back to the car about a couple of miles so this road got me uh, thermal jacket off and my pants because uh, we're getting a bit warm now Uh, it looks like below that nose looks like there's a defunct quarry there and uh, that might be a nice little pitch up there if you didn't want to go on the high tops in the winter anyway continuing down this track come right down from the cup there's a crag up there i'm wondering if there's a good pitch on there looking back up uh, 
up into hike up now you can see the valley disappearing up so where i came up in them uh, yesterday up on that high level there and uh, we're going back down i think down to that farm so i've come down this track past that crag down here and out this stream beautiful trees and woodland and i've got to find my way across this it's uh, not that wide but it's a little bit tricky <laughs> so i went up the north side of up to hike up nick and came back down the south side round this crag here and down this track and through this farm and look at that beautiful tree there right a little bit of uh, road bashing now and uh, a couple of miles i think to go There's some beautiful woodland on that farmland there. Beautiful. All right, we'll catch up in a bit. I'm really sorry, but uh, I'm going to have to come through your field because it's a public footpath. I know you girlies won't like it, but I won't. Be, I won't scare you. Okay, that's stuffed and pike behind. No. Yes, Dufton Pike. 